Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you very much for being here. I know the game's finished and another good victory. What about that penalty? Saturday, clear handball, no penalty. If you see the picture of it, it hits his elbow, which is down by his side, but Beaton sees that as a penalty. The column on the bar, of course. Two great goals have been scored in the last dying moments. Jimmy Johnston for Celtic, Rangers, Young Steam, their supporters all cheer them with voices of thunder, unknowing what waited on staircase 13. Sixty-six people died, some in flower of their manhood. When the fences gave way, and the barriers bent, seasoned Glasgow policemen, their faces all tear-stained. With brave efforts and ever, far was to prevent. All of Glasgow enjoyed for the first time in history in the Glasgow cathedrals. No play, no dance. But the old folk united to pray for the victims of a tragedy sent in the memory of men. New Year bells had been ringing. All Scotland was singing, the old year had died, and the new had been born. As the news of disaster from Ibrox came spreading, the news that we cause yeah, it's still as poignant today as it was 53 years ago, and uh, a beautiful song with words that, that echo uh, very resonantly. Now, once again, thank you for being here. It's a shortened service this year because we're after the game. We're not making a procession round to this, the memorial statue this year just because of logistics of it all. But uh, I do thank you for staying back after the game. We're coming along specially. Uh, it's a very important thing to me, obviously, and obviously to every one of you. Now, I, I know a few faces in the crowd there personally, so thank you, uh, Will Kent friends. Uh, and Gordon Smith, ex Rangers player, of course, is with us as, as always. So thank you, Gordon. Appreciate it. Uh, I have to say, <laughs> Gordon's always here. He always has been, and it's, it's very appreciated. And I've spoken to him at a few events. The players are leaving just now and going in the cars. They should really be around here as well because they play for the club that these 66 people loved. And never mind waiting for an autograph, they should all be around here to join in as well and pay our respects. Maybe, maybe next year, Greg. <laughs> uh, it's maybe above your remit right now. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to thank, before we get started, I'd like to thank Greg Marshall, the uh, supporters liaison officer, for his assistance this year in getting electricity and his team, of course, to make sure that we can get plugged in and sorted. So, uh, 
having a discussion there, I was thinking, maybe next year we could have it inside here. <laughs> that way you get in out of the cold. Anyway, something to think of for future events. Uh, anyway, we're here for a specific reason. Uh, on this very moment, 53 years ago, 66 of our supporters sadly lost their lives leaving the ground, uh, Stairway 13 coming down immediately above us. So we're here for that particular reason to remember them. Uh, and uh, I'll carry on. All we're going to do this year is the support, the, the, the piping tribute. Ian and Derek will read out the names of our 66, and then Paul Meekelum will sing his Forever 66 song, which I think is an integral part of this service. Uh, and therefore, even with a shortened service, I didn't want to leave that out. So without further ado, I'll get on with the piping bit, and I'll hand over the rest to Ian and Derek. Okay, so thank you again. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The bagpipes are a temperamental instrument, but so are my fingers. And when you're freezing cold like that, you miss a note in the bottom there. Anyway, I'm now going to hand you over to Ian and Derek. Ian's my oldest son, 
full name Ian Drummond McLeod McCoyst Milne. Uh, Derek is my younger son, Derek Monroe Milne, named after Stuart Monroe and Derek Parlane and Derek Johnson. So, uh, Liam's my stepson. I don't know where we got Liam from. George Irwin, aged 22. George Wilson, aged 15. Robert Grant, aged 21. Alexander McIntyre, aged 29. Hugh Addy, aged 33. George Adams, aged 43. John Jeffrey, aged 16. Char Char Charles Dugan, aged 31. Russell Morgan, aged 14. Thomas Grant, aged 16. John Gardiner, aged 32. George Smith, aged 40. David McPherson, aged 30. David Anderson, aged 45. John Buchanan, aged 32. David McGee, aged 14. Thomas Melville, aged 17. Francis Dover, aged 16. Walter Shields, aged 15. Robert Mulholland, age 16. David Buff, age 23. Donald Sutherland, age 14. Robert Ray, age 25. John Crawford, age 23. John Semple, aged 18. Robert Carrigan, age, uh, age 13. James Ray, age 19. Thomas Sterling, age 16. Thomas McRobbie, age 17. Duncan McBrearty, age 17. John John Neal, John Neal, age 29. George Finlay, age 21. Peter Farid, age 26. Charles Livingston, age 30. Brian Hutchison, age 16. Andrew Lindsay, aged 18. James Trainer, aged 20. Robert Maxwell, aged 15. Thomas Dixon, aged 32. Peter Wright, aged 31. Ian Frew, aged 21. Charles Sterling, aged 20. James Gray, aged 37. Richard Bark, aged 15. William Shaw, age 38. William Summerhill, age 17. Robert McAdam, age 36. Ian Hunter, age 14. James Mayer, age 19. Alexander Orr, age 16. Matthew Reed, aged 49. Adam Henderson, age 43. Margaret Ferguson, aged 18. Richard McClay, aged 28. John McClay, aged 23. Peter Easton, aged 13. Russell Malcolm, aged 16. Brian Todd, aged Brian Todd, aged 14. Douglas Morrison, Douglas Morrison, aged 14. Ronald Payton, aged 14. William Mason Phillip, aged 15. James Sibbald, aged 28. Robert Cairns, aged 17. Walter Rayburn, aged 36. John McGovern, aged 24. Nigel, Nigel Pickup, aged 8. And also remembering the 25 people who lost their lives here at the stadium during a Scotland v England match in 1902. 
and of course not forgetting George Nelson and Thomas Thompson who died on Stairway 13 in September 1961. Thank you and apologies. The batteries are new. Must just be the cold. It'd be better you being up here, Paul. Uh, anyway, we're going to hold a minute silence now, and then we'll have whatever to take from Paul. Okay, okay. So, we uh, my phone, and if we can bow our heads in a minute silence, starting now. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. One thing that can always be said is Ranger supporters know how to hold them in its silence. They know how to show respect. Thank you. Now, as always, from well, oh, 10 years ago now, Paul, maybe? It was only that height then. Uh, uh, Paul has been singing his song. He changed the words to Chasing Cars by Snow Patrol. Uh, the words mean a lot to me, uh, obviously mean a hell of a lot to Paul, uh, uh, but they mean a lot to me and uh, as, I, as he stands singing I look around and I see the flats there where people witnessed what was going on and uh, I think of uh, the 66 looking down on us and uh, I think it's something that we should never forget and it's a wonderful version of the song so I'd like to put you over to Paul who will sing that for us.
I'll keep your space Be saying me And the Copeland stand If I lay here If I just lay here Then would you lie with me at Ibrox Stadium? Absolutely superb Paul, as always one thing standing up here, and you won't be aware of it where you are, but there's people coming out of hospitality and just going straight down there, you know. 66 supporters died here 53 years ago, and people just walk by. It's incredible. Just stopping to pay your respects would be a good thing, would it not? <laughs> uh, uh, you know, obviously I've got a, an interest in this. But it just beggars belief that 53,000 people just left here. 50,000 50, in there. And there's maybe 400 of you here. Uh, and it's been advertised on Facebook. People know about it, but they can't stay back an hour to remember 66 people, most of whom were teenagers, and died coming to watch the club they loved. Uh, some people might think I'm inappropriate saying that, but I don't give a damn. Okay? It could be that any one of us, and there's a few families here who experienced that and I'll never know what they went through, but it could have been any one of us. Thank God we've got a stadium today which empties in 10 minutes without all that nonsense. So, anyway, that about wraps up our service for this year. Uh, once again, I'd like to thank you all for coming along. Next year we might be a wee bit back to normal. Uh, depending on what we can get organised in time. Uh, thank you again to, to Greg Marshall. Thank you to his team for opening the, the store here so we can get electricity. <laughs> Thanks to Natalie Nairn. Uh, I'm not sure what Natalie's title is, but she it was her that liaised with Greg in the first place for me uh, to, so that we could get all things up and running. Uh, and it's good to know that the club are, are in, in support of this again, so that's fantastic. Uh, thank you to you all for turning up. Thank you to, for the families who have supported me in my trip around Scotland, and I'm meaning families, I'm meaning families of the 66. Uh, probably about a dozen or so families are, are personal friends now. Uh, I mentioned to you last year, sadly, that Margaret Ferguson, the only female to die at the disaster, her sister Mary Gibb passed away two years ago now. Um, but her, her daughter Annette follows closely. I don't know if Annette's here. She did say she would try and come through, but I'm looking for her hand, but I'm not sure she made it. But uh, thoughts with her. Uh, yesterday, obviously, I paid my respects to Adam Henderson, who I believe is from Cumbernauld. Um, John and Richard McLeay from Salmanen, uh, 
my Masonic lodges in Salman and these guys were an integral part of the community and it, it ripped the family apart so I know I know some of the family members very well. Then we went to Muir Avonside for Margaret Ferguson, then up to Uphall for Russell Malcolm, just a teenager, uh, and then over to Fife for Peter Easton, Brian Todd, Douglas Morrison, Ronald Peaton, and Mason Phillip. The names uh, come back to me with a wee bit of help from Derek there. So. Uh, that's what I do on the 1st of January every year. This year I will try and get all the rest done over the next couple of months of work allowing. I'd like to say thank you as well to Laura who's not here. Uh, she's looking after baby Charlotte back home. Charlotte's just turned one a month ago. I became a dad at the age of 59. Charlotte, uh, Jeannie Elizabeth, Elizabeth after Her Majesty the Queen. We've got to keep it in the family, keep it hard. Uh, so she's at home keeping warm and hopefully watching on the live feed. So that about covers all the thank yous. Uh, thanks once again for coming. It's now raining, so I'll shut up and let you go home. And uh, we'll play Absent Friends just as a cheery one. Thank you once again. It means a lot to me, and I know it means a lot to you. Thank you. The time has come to say goodnight For every road must end To the ones who care our woe is near Our very special friend Let's say goodnight to those we love And maybe share a tear but before we close, let's think of those who love who can be healed. Let's raise a glass to absent friends. For every road must end. You'll always be there in our hearts. A special absent friend. And when it's time for us to go And our long journey ends You'll never be alone, you see You'll be with absent friends So let's raise a glass to absent friends For every road must end You'll always be there in our hearts A special absent friend Thank you. 